he's collecting his data. Okay, he's, he's okay, okay. Uh, I'm going with my guy, Tank. Uh, of course it affected the fight. At the end of the day, like, when you have he's going to go next. Earl's going to kill that boy. Everybody, we are down here at Saz Boxing Academy shooting episode 8 of CBA Talk. My name is Chris Johnson. I'm Cedric Johnson, known as Coach Sid. Now, Saturday, January 7th, was a great night for my boy, Javante Davis, a.k.a. Tank. Yes, it is, man. He showed out, man. He did an awesome job. Yes. You know? And I'm going to tell you, like, who we fight? Hector? Hector Luis Garcia is what it is. Hector Luis Garcia. Is what, is what Hector Garcia. He, yeah. I think the, 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 the fighter, he, I think he came to fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. the first couple rounds, he seemed like he had everything under control a little bit. Yeah. And then here comes the train, baby. The yeah. train was get the he was tank tank was working it up. And boy. Well, I I would say to Hector Luis Garcia, you did a great job, but you, you kept the hand your hands down too low, my man. Yeah. You can't do yeah. that with tank. Yeah. Come on now, you can't yeah. you can't do that with tank. Devontae Davis, he can take advantage of that, man. He could hit you with some you, tank, see. This is why I think Tank is going to dominate the lightweight division because he has he has everything he needs. He got speed, the boxing IQ, oh, the power. Yeah, strong. Yeah, strong, strong. Strong fighter. He's smart. He knows how to pick his punches off. He knows how to set them up. You can't you can't put your hands down in front of Tank, man. That's just not a good idea. Man. Garcia, when he oh, I, I I reviewed his last fight when he was when he uh he won a world title last fight yeah, I think uh, he fought that. Uh, I think his last last fight what gave him the opportunity for Tank. I can't think of the fighter he fought. No, you're was, thinking of um, uh, Colbert, I think it was his name was. I think that, that yes, was his last yes, fight. Yes, uh, yes. That wasn't his last fight. His last fight, he actually won a world title. Okay, okay. Is, but That's what I researched on. But that, that fight, fight, but that fight did 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 pump him up a little bit in the uh, rankings. So. And I seen it, his hands was down a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Coming in, you can't do that yeah. with uh, with Tank. Tank. Tank's going to start chopping. A little bit slow starter, you think? He he got to he got to get his uh, momentum going. Is what I think he has to do. I think he has to just you know get get everything. That that's what that's what I like about Tank so much is that he just like how Floyd does in the beginning of every fight. He he's collecting his data. Okay. He's, he's okay. Seeing okay. What okay. He's making okay. And trying to capitalize off of him, trying to take advantage of those things. So yeah. you know I I Tank he starts off slow, but once those later rounds start to come in, oh he's 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 taking to a whole nother level. Trust that he took it to another level that, that night. He took it to a whole nother level. Okay, so the inside game, he was attacking him, hitting him with those shots. Yeah. And uh, finish Hector at, the crazy thing about it is, it was a, that, this fight was kind of crazy. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you for, for, um, for Tank, because the press conference, kind of weird. Yeah. He pushed like, he him and getting in his head, getting getting in his head a little he was, bit. He was getting in his head when he started to walk up on him. Yeah. And he yeah, was sitting there yeah, pushing him. He yeah. was getting in his head. And you could see on uh, Hector's face that he had like a huge question mark. Like, what, what is he doing? <laughs> kind of threw him off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, threw him off, which, which I felt like, I felt like that's what mentally for Hector is what made him, especially for this fight, because Tank, he is, I would say, he likes to intimidate his opponents. A little bit. I feel like he likes. Yeah, he do. I think that's. I think he's starting to do that. Yeah. I don't remember him doing that in the beginning of his. Uh, maybe he was uh, excited that. I mean, he wasn't. He ain't with uh, Floyd, no Floyd no more. Yeah. And he, when he was in the corner, he was looking around. They were like, "When? What are you looking at?" In between yeah. the rounds of the fight. So I, what I think he was looking at the crowd on. People still love him without Mayweather promotion. Yeah, I mean, I I, I could say it probably felt good for Tank to to be in the corner and not see Floyd right there telling him stuff and all that. I think life. that was different because Floyd was in his corner. He started him out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So he kind of he kind of controlled mostly everything uh, and built Tank up to the top, which is the great fighter he is yeah. today. But um, hey, exciting man. It kind of. Crazy night. I know it yeah. was a fight that broke out in a little crowd. bit. And yeah. It was too close to the ring. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who it was that started fire. Oh, uh, uh. It was a uh, Russell, one of the Russell brothers. 
Yeah. And uh, that rapper, uh, uh, MC. Uh, was it Meek Mill? I think it was Meek Mill, and then what was yeah. it Steven Jackson? Yes. Or I, Jackson I, don't, I don't know if he had anything to do with it. I don't think. I think he was. Something just, happened. Something yeah, happened between because yeah. I thought. I mean, he was wearing that bright green shirt in the, in the crowd, so he was. He was. He was. He was noticeable in that in in, in the crowd. So I, I I would think that he was a part of that little scuffle yeah. that they had over there, and so much so that they had to stop. They stopped for a bit. You can see. Which is odd. There, and he looked. And then I was questioned. I was like, "Why are they yeah, stopping for?" Yeah. And then we saw the crowd. Usually, and all that. usually they they don't stop it, but I think because the fight was so close towards the referees and judges, the judges it was yeah. only a couple rows doctors. back from the ring, man. Yeah. So I think that's why the refs stopped it. Yeah. Uh, for their safety. Well, folks, now that Tank is 28 and 0, man, I felt like this is a message to the lightweight division, especially to a certain Ryan. Garcia. <laughs> but we ain't gonna get into that right now. Woo. I wanna say for Tank's performance against Hector Luis Garcia was amazing. I mean yes, it was. I mean we all know it's Tank. I mean he's called Tank for a reason. I mean he, he, he came he out a like a tank. He was a tank that night when he yeah. when he hit putting them power shots on. <laughs> when he hit, he hit that when boy he hit, so, when he went, hit him with that leather. Hit hit that boy so hard he couldn't see. <laughs> he was in the corner saying, I can't see, I can't see. I was like, hey. <laughs> Tank hit that boy hard. Man. Yeah, yeah, he hit did. that boy real he hard. Did. And you he could did. even tell the shots that he was throwing because obviously we know how Tank is. He likes to set up his shots. Yes, he does. Yeah. Tank, I mean, you can see that look on his face when he starts to throw, uh, uh, and he starts to get his groove going. And you got a, you got Tank is so powerful. He's strong. Yeah. And uh, he's a threat to that weight class. Yeah, he's a real big threat because he has power. Yeah. I mean, I've heard people say that he punched like a heavyweight, which is crazy for a lightweight. Yeah. So this is. So I felt like, but it's only, it's one of those things where it's, you know, can you take the punch? Because I don't think anyone from the division can take Tank's punch, right, to be honest right, with you. Right, so, yeah. you know, especially for people like Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Shakur Stevenson. I mean, those are some top guys, but can they take Tank's power? That's the only question that I'm wondering. And I'm looking forward to find out. Yeah. And somebody got to step up, somebody got to show and, show and tell. And, See who's the best athlete. Now that we've gotten this fight out of the way, Tank, now it's it's, it's finally time to, you know, start the, the the big fight, the mega fight. And I you, think he will. Ryan I think Garcia. He's he ready to fight. Tank ready to fight, man. man. I think he's taking on whoever. I'm now now you. see, I don't care about Crawford and Earl Spence right now. I, I don't I don't care about the fight anymore. And I, I mentioned do. This, and I mentioned this before. I don't care about the fight no more because there ain't no big news talking about, oh, them signing contract. I don't hear none, no news about it. Yeah, Terrence Carver might be tweeting him out and 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 and, and calling him out. But that what that that's really it. Earl Spence, yeah. Earl, I'm I'm done with Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. I'm not gonna talk about it until I hear some big news. I'm not I'm, done with it. I'm gonna still talk about it, but we'll talk than, about that later. Other than that, you know, we can argue all night about it, but I, I I think it's still gonna happen. Other than that. I'm ready for Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis. Okay, now we in line again. <laughs> they said April, so I'm waiting too. Now, I hope this ain't one of those things where they say, oh, big fight, big fight, and then something happens. Because I don't want to have my hopes up because something could still happen. Because this is boxing. Yeah. I'm, at least for right now, this is what boxing is. They say a big mega fight, and then out of nowhere, something happens. Ryan Garcia failed a drug test. Javante Davis went in jail. Ba 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 ba. Tank Davis slapped another girl in the face again. Ba 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 ba. Some some happened. So I don't want to have my hopes up too high, but this is our chance for a big mega fight. Two yes, undefeated is. fighters, two undefeated champions fighting. That this boxing is. fans been waiting on, and it's time to see it. Yeah. I think we're gonna see it 20 uh, 23 this year. Now, folks, we are here with one of the members of Says Boxing Academy. I'm here with Josh Showtime. That is my last name. All right. Now, Josh, I, I, I want you to tell me, man, how do you think Tank did on um, uh, January 7th, man? Um, I thought he did really well. Um, I'm a Tank fan. I'm from the DMV, just like him. So I always root, root for him. I did think that, like, Hector started to get a little bit more confidence towards yeah. the middle of the fight. Yeah. I think they kind of screwed him over at the end. Yeah. Because if you notice, Tank was talking a lot of like junk towards him. Yeah. And then right before the fight finished, Hector started talking back to him, which was like, oh, okay. He got a little too comfortable and then realized that Tank is called Tank for a reason. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he got power. Do you think the fight that broke out in the crowd is, affected the fight? Do you think uh, what happened in the crowd with the whole fighting and all that and that whole situation, did you think that affected Hector's plan 
towards towards the you know the end of the fight and all that? Of course, it affected the fight. At the end of the day, like when you have momentum with any sport, if it gets your if your momentum stops, that's why we have timeouts. Timeouts stop momentum. So of course it did. However, did I think that it really played a big role into the fight? No. I think that it was gonna happen sooner or later. However, it did affect the fight. Dang. So do you think, especially leading up to you know Ryan Garcia and Tank? Do you feel like, do you feel that, you know, Ryan Garcia will be able to take Tank's power or do you think he'll be able to uh, go the whole 12 rounds with Tank if they fight? That fight's not going 12 rounds. These guys both pack too much power for this to go to distance. They both are finishers for a reason. When you have two finishers, it's almost impossible for it not to go, I mean, for it to go to decision. My only thing about the Tank and um, Garcia, I mean, the, the, the uh, Ryan Garcia chin thing that a lot of people like to throw out yeah. there. He got dropped, it happens. If you look, Roy Jones Jr. got dropped by a person that didn't have power before Antonio Tarver. He still had a chance. Uh, Muhammad Ali got dropped by some white yeah. dude nobody even heard of before. <laughs> yeah. But guess what? He took George Foreman's punch. Then you also have uh, uh, Canelo. He got dropped by Cotto's older brother. And guess what? He was able to take Triple G's punches. So people like to look too much into it. He got caught with a shot. He got back up. He finished the fight. Do you feel like we have a chance to finally get a super mega fight? Do you feel like this is our chance, especially what happened with Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence not happening? Do you think this is our, our, do you think this is a chance to finally get the fight that people wanted? It better be. At the end of the day, they did all this talking. I'm tired of all these social media warriors. Like, don't say, don't call a person out, then they say it was good, and then you say, oh, I don't want to fight no more. Yeah. So hopefully this does happen. However, we know it's boxing. Ain't nothing signed yet. They say the deal is yeah, done. Yeah. They say a Terrence Crawford deal was done, but guess what? It wasn't. So I hope so, but it's boxing. Well, Appreciate it, Josh. Uh, go ahead and link your socials, Instagram, YouTube, anything like that. All right, Sweat. So um, I have my own fight shows. Uh, it's called Showtime's Fight Form on YouTube. Also, you can follow me on social media at Papa Showtime. That is not a joke. So serious. <laughs> well, appreciate it, Josh. No problem. All right, folks, we are here with another member from Says Boxing Academy. I'm here with... Keontae Matthews. Now, Keontae, I wanted to ask you this question, my man. How do you think Tank did Saturday night, man? Uh, I think he did good. Uh... He held his composure real good. Uh, I think he was relaxed. He he found his way like he was supposed to. I think he did a great job. Now, Kansas, I want to ask you, because we all know that Tank's in a powerful division. He's in with Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. Do you think, and, I've been, and I wanted to ask this question to a lot of people, uh, not just Tank, but Devin Haney. Who do you think could take Devin? Ha uh, who who do you think can take Devin Haney's belt away from him? The only person I can actually see doing that is uh, Shakur Stevenson, only because he's real good at distance. He his IQ is a hundred percent. And I mean, honestly, he's the only person I can see do it. It's just I haven't seen him take good power yet. So that's the only thing I want to see him go against a, a real good power hitter. Do you think Shakur Stevenson will be able to tank Tank's power? Uh, for a couple rounds, yes. If he can keep him off him, yes. He can, he can, he'll be able to, if he can keep him off him without him being able to give him the full effect, yeah. then yes. Okay. Now, hopefully, we should hopefully get this fight, you know, with Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis. Who do you see winning that fight? Uh, I'm going with my guy, Tank. Uh, reason I say that Tank is... A lot of people don't give him his credit for his skills. He's real good defensively. Uh, he got a good IQ. Um, and it's just, like I said, you got to be able to take that power, which we've seen. He, he hits hard, and you never know when, what round you're going to be able to take the power in. So okay. I'll, go with, I'll go with Tank. Well, I just want to ask you one last question. Now, with Javante Davis, of course, with his performance against uh, Hector Luis Garcia. Do you think, actually, referring to what you said about Shakur, do you think Shakur could beat Tank? If he, if he can take his power, do you think he'll be able to outbox him? Do you think he'll be able to, to throw more punches than Tank? So do you, do you, do you basically just think if if it, if it take If it takes Tank more than three rounds to find himself, yes. I think he could. All right, appreciate it, man. Can you go ahead and say your socials and all that to the people out watching this episode? Um, well, you can follow me on Instagram at Keontae Matthews. You can follow me on Facebook at Keontae Matthews. You can follow me on Snapchat at The Colonel. <laughs> um, and that's it. All right, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with another member from Says Boxing Academy. I'm here with... Cameron Poche. Now, Cam, I want to ask you a question, man. How do you think... How, how did you think Tank did uh, Saturday night? Uh, I thought Tank... Tank Davis always does what he does best. Yeah. You know, I thought Tank Davis did a great performance. He had a great performance, and um, my only uh, cri criticism about that fight was with Garcia. I thought he was boxing well yeah. up until he kept putting his hands down. And you can only put your hands down so much with a guy like Tank Davis, you know, before he takes advantage. Yeah, that's one thing you can't do with Tank. You right. Can't, you can't put your hands down. Especially, especially, with him. especially with a power puncher, because you know Tank, he's known for his power and he's right. known for his speed too. And that's another question. Do you feel like, because we all know that Devin Caney is the undisputed lightweight champ, do you think Tank can take those belts away from him? I think he could, absolutely, with his IQ and his uh, ring intelligence and punching power. I, th I think he can beat him, knockout, you know, within a couple rounds. A couple rounds? Like what, what round? What round would you say? Let's say they have a 12-round fight. I can see him doing in six rounds, seven rounds. Seven rounds? Eight rounds, yeah. I you think, think I, I think, it's, I think, I agree with you with that. Now see, I'm not, I'm not a Devin Haney fan. I mean, I appreciate Devin Haney, you know, I think he's a good fighter, but I feel like with the class that he's in, I just feel like he wouldn't be able to tank, especially Tank's power. I mean, right. I mean, uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but Tank also said in an interview saying that he uh, actually uh, rocked him in sparring. Right. And his father had to stop the sparring match and all that. And, um, you know, and that's just, the, I feel like, do you feel like the uh, the win that he had on Saturday was a message to the lightweight division? Do you think it was a big message? Do you, do you, do you I don't think? think it was a big message, mm. but it definitely, um, Tank Davis still showed that he's uh, one of the best for sure. I don't think it was a big message. If he beat like someone like Devin Haney or Ryan Garcia, that'd be a big message. Now, speaking of Ryan Garcia, who do you see winning that fight against Tank? Tank. And Ryan? Tank. Tank? Yeah. Do you think do you think it's gonna end in a decision or you think you think it's gonna be a KO I win? Think, I think it's gonna be a KO. Yeah. Because these are two power punchers. These are two guys that are known for their speed, known for their power. Why do you think Tank wins that fight? Just for who he's fought and the things that he accomplished compared to Ryan Garcia. You know, I don't think I don't Ryan Garcia didn't fight the nowhere near the caliber fighters Tank fought. Yeah. You know, Tank fought, had some moments where he was losing the rounds, yeah. but that intelligence, you know, bailed him out, you know, and that power belt, that power bailed him out, you know. Uh, Ryan, I don't think Ryan Garcia's faced, like, serious, like, elite opposition, besides, like, Luke Campbell. Uh, I got one more final question for you, my man. So, knowing who's in the lightweight division, we got Devin Haney Shakur, Ryan Garcia, uh, we got some other big names that are coming up. Do you feel like Tank, if Tank were to fight everybody, do you feel like he'll still be undefeated? Depends on how, uh, how long he'd wait. If he would fight those fighters con consistently, yeah. like, like let's say he'd fight them, um, fight one person then next per next month he'll fight like another legend yeah i think he'll lose mm, you know really yeah if he if he would fight those guys and and who do you think he would lose against oh the guy i see uh giving uh tank the most problems right now is uh pitbull i don't see anybody if they if they rematch yeah I, that's really? the, that's the only guy i see giving him problems really yeah, pitbull yeah you think you think he gave him problems in the first place yeah oh yeah absolutely he showed Tank that, you know, he ain't going nowhere. He's going to take his punches. He's going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe ah. with him. And I don't think, Tank Davis never seen that from any other, from any other fighter, you know? Well, I appreciate, I appreciate you answering my questions, man. If you got any socials that you want to lay out to the people, man, you can go and say it now, man. Nah, man, uh, they can, you can follow me home. Oh, okay. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, man. No social media. I appreciate, I appreciate it. I like that, man. I appreciate it, man. Now, folks, uh, before we end this episode, I want to mention another fighter. Uh, they fought on the uh, undercard uh, on Tank's fight. Yeah. They fought on the undercard. Uh, it was a fighter by the name of Jaron Ennis. Um, now, we mentioned this. We mentioned it before, but his name, as I was like to say, I've been hearing his name everywhere. Yeah. And this was, I think, the fight that, I don't know who he fought against, I couldn't recognize, but he, he, he beat him, of course. Yes, he did, yes, he did. Um, so, but, 
What I'd like to say is, you know, Jaron Ennis, I, you know, I don't really know the kid well. I know that he's 30 and 0 uh, with 27 KOs. Yes. Uh, so he, he, he has a great record. Perfect, perfect undefe undefeated record. But I've been hearing some names, I've been hearing him especially calling out some names because he's in the 147 weight class. Yes, and he is. If you know a little That's bit, my guy. If you know a little bit about the weight classes, you know that two fighters by the name of Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence Jr. is in that weight class. And he's, of course, been calling them out. I think, uh, good fight, go ahead and take on uh, Earl. If, now look, look, or Keith Thurman. Fight Keith Thurman, and Keith. then if, if Earl wanna go ahead and take on, uh, uh, what is it, Ennis? Ennis. Uh, go ahead and fight him, and then do the mega fight with him and Spence. Okay, now Keith, that's a good, that's, that's, that's a good okay, yeah. fight. Okay, to see where he at. But I'm gonna tell you, if he fought like he did Saturday, he nah. might get beat by Keith. Uh, the way that he fought, because I, obviously, obviously I know with the whole he's, well, at least when, at least his record before he fought the kid, he was 29 and 0 with 27 KOs. Yeah. And that and that's a that's a good KO ratio. But let's be honest here, he didn't have any power. Nah, and the the I think his opponent came from from was from overseas. Uh, Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine. Yeah, his opponent. And uh, the fight was kind of I mean it wasn't it wasn't he was interesting. Rushing. He was rushing. I mean the fight wasn't really that entertaining. It was mostly just him trying to knock the kid out. Yeah. Or no, his attempt. Was the try, but he to try to knock him out, but he just couldn't. But that the the, uh, the, the he guy good fought, moments. He was moving on the outside. He was it was it was pretty much it was a boring yeah. fight, especially to see where he's Man, gonna go next. Earl's gonna kill that boy. Yeah. Earl's gonna kill that yeah. boy. I'm sorry, Ennis. I don't know if you're watching this or not. Uh, appreciate you watching CBA Talk, but I'm sorry, Ennis. I don't. I just. Don't, I like you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a hater. But I just don't think you could be Earl Spence Jr. And I would like for you to prove me wrong, but I'm sorry. But I, I feel if you if he could go through, I know um, Keith Thurman is, is itching for a fight. Yes. Grab Keith Thurman and then see what you do with Keith Thurman. Yeah. If you make if, a if good you, example if, if you, with Keith Thurman. If you can knock out Keith Thurman. I don't want to say knock him out, but just destroy him. Like, beat him, not stop him, or beat him where a better fight that you did Saturday. Yeah, yeah, wait, that, that fight that he had was boring. I, I felt like the fight was boring, and I was actually interested in that fight, too. I was like, oh, he's going to knock this kid out. He's going to do this, he's going to do that. He, he could barely, I mean, I even said it. He, I even said it during the fight. He was rushing a lot, yeah. and I was scared that he was going to get caught. Right, with something, right, yeah, and then it, potentially could have gotten knocked down, but that didn't happen. But that was a possibility that could have happened, especially if it goes against a good fighter. Exactly. Like, you're right. Of you're course, right, Keith. You're right, you're right. I hope he doesn't do that if he does fight Keith Thurman. I hope he doesn't do that because Keith is a really good fighter, and just because he has a loss and all that, he could still potentially give you your first loss in this. So I'm just saying, man, you want to call out Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford, but I. From your performance, I don't know. Got to pick it up a little bit, especially against someone like I feel like. Look, do you think he, do you think he will lose against both of them, or do you think he will, he will at least be one of them uh, against Terrence and uh, Earl Spence? Because I personally think that I don't he think, can. I, I, don't I, think I, he I, I think Earl beat him. Um, oh, you said Terrence Crawford. I said both of them. Oh beat man, <laughs> it's, nah. Uh, that's why I said if if he destroyed. Keith Thurman, or who else out there? We got uh, Keith Thurman. Uh, uh, Earl I know I had the top ten, but we don't. Uh, we have to look it up. If yeah, anybody knows, go ahead and comment down at the bottom. Leave some names or whatever of the boxers that in Ennis, that weight class. And this is a good fighter. Of course, he's one of those slick fighters. Billy so, Shell. He like he likes to use a job a lot. He's slick, but. I personally don't think that he'll be able to get past Earl Spence. I mean, Earl Spence is a dog, man. Yeah. He can go in there and go. So I'm, I'm interested to see what, what happens, where, where, he, where he's at next. Yeah, well, that's all I really have to say. I don't know about you, Dad. I'm but. it, man. I'm, that's it. I was, I was satisfied with uh, uh, good fights. Tank showed out, good performance, and I'm ready to see some good boxes for this year, uh, uh, 2023. Yep. Well, folks. 
Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that bell notifications on for when we post. My name is Chris Johnson. I am Cedric Johnson, known as Coach Sad. And we'll be posting videos weekly about boxing news, upcoming fighters, and upcoming fights. So, we'll see y'all later. And we out. <laughs>